Welcome to our ECU Flash training course. We're going to be taking a look at downloading and installing our ECU Flash software onto our laptops, as well as taking a look at doing some general navigation, setup, and editing techniques to get this training course started. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at downloading and installing our ECU Flash software so we can begin this training course. We're also going to be taking a look at just doing some general navigation of the software here, just get an overview of what's going on. So first and foremost, we're going to go to Tactrix.com. This is going to be where you purchase the Tactrix cable. That's going to be your 2.0 cable. You're also going to go and download the associated software that we're going to use for the actual flashing purposes. We're going to go up here to downloads at the top of the screen. Click on this. That's going to bring us to the portion where we actually download the ECU Flash software. The latest version of the software here is 1.44. Um, the software hasn't been updated in a few years, so for reference sake, um, you'll be finding that this is probably going to be what you're going to be downloading if you're following along with this tutorial. So we have this direct download link here uh, to the version 1.44.4799. You can see it says uh, top here, Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 10. Now I'm running Windows 10 on my laptop here. Um, I have successfully used this one, Windows XP. Um, and Windows 8. I have not used it on Vista or 7. I know it can be a little bit buggy on those operating systems, just for reference sake. They also have an older version here, if you're using a Mac, um, they have a version 1.38 1.38 that is OS X compatible, um, but it is not going to be compatible uh, with the uh, 2.0 Tactrix cable. So you have to use the older 1.3 cable. Um, alternatively, I would probably run uh, Parallels if you have a Mac Parallels is going to allow you to run the Windows XP Vista 7, 8, or 10 uh, in run in conjunction with your um, your actual Mac so you can have dual boot and you don't have any issues. So what I'm going to do is jump in here to download EC Flash from this link since I have Windows 10 and I'm going to uh, allow it to uh, start to download. So options down here, run, save. I'm going to go here and just run the actual exe file, which is the executable file to install the software. And we'll be patient while this it goes its process here and starts to download. Um, we'll just give it a second. And we should find this is a relatively uh, quick installation here with this file. And we can see right now it's ready to go. So it's going to ask me if I want to run this device here. I'll say yes and allow it to start to install. It's going to go through this process here. Uh, we'll go to the setup, click next to begin. We're going to agree to the terms of service here. And then we're going to find, it's going to show us the path or the destination where it's going to be installing the ECU flash folder. In this case, C drive, program files, x86, open ECU, ECU flash. So if you don't want it to go and install into this folder, you'll have to go and give it a different location. You click browse here, you could change that directory. I'm going to keep it into the default location here. I'll click next. Um, we'll find, choose a start menu folder. Um, it's going to be an auto installing on the start menu under ECU flash. I'm going to let it go ahead and just do this, uh, this default right here. So I'll say install. And now we'll be patient while it does the installation. Really, really quick process here for actually installing the software and just let it finish up. Now we can see that it's completed, so let's go here to next. And then we'll go here to finish. Now, one thing that we're gonna have to do um, that's a little bit annoying, other software, uh, if you install software, it's going to give you a direct link to the software. So we can find here, I have FuelTech Manager, Holtec, Infinity, these are going to be direct icons. I can just click here on the desktop. It's going to take me right into the software. ECU Flash is not going to be like that. You actually have to go into the directory and create a link so that it's going to be linking you a shortcut link uh, from the desktop here so it can just open up the software. So what we're going to have to do is jump into our folder here. We're going to have to move down into uh, the C drive. We're going to go into our program files x86. That's where the uh, software actually, the folder actually installed. And they're going to be looking for a folder called Open ECU. So if we go down here, we'll see Open ECU. We'll double click this, and then we can see ECU Flash is going to be located in here. And then we'll find the actual ECU Flash program. It's going to have this little chip icon here. This is going to be what we look for. Now, what we have to do is create a shortcut link. So we're going to go right click here, and we are going to create a shortcut. So we can see Create Shortcut. And say, Windows can't create a shortcut here. Do you want it? do you want the shortcut to be placed on the desktop instead? And that's actually where I want to have it. So I'll click yes. And then we can see here, ECU flash shortcut. So thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we are going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.